Finally tonight, you've likely never heard of a game called Roke. It's even less likely you're familiar with a small town in western New York named Angelica. But together they've created something magical, keeping unique American tradition alive against the odds. Uh, every small town should have something like this just because it's good for the community. When you get to Angelica, it doesn't take long to find them playing, including Michael Burke. Angelica has, you know, we've got an amazing history and we've got this game of rope that we love to get people involved with. Aww. Roke looks a bit like lawn croquet, but it's not. Jim Goleman first played as a boy in the 1950s. The rules are not written down any place. I wrote up some back when we started the tournaments in the uh, late 60s, early 70s. Can't even find those, but we kind of know what we're doing. <laughs> David Hagstrom plays too. It's played with a short-handled mallet uh, rather than your uh, typical uh, longer-handled croquet mallet, and the balls are a little bit different. Day and night, the people of Angelica have been on this oval clay court for as long as anyone can remember. It was once billed as the game of the century, an Olympic sport in 1904. But now Angelica believes it's the only place left in the country still playing organized tournaments. I can remember as a kid almost every night you would have people up here playing because that was their entertainment. Um, now it's not so much that way. Now we, we play to keep it going. <laughs> this weekend Angelica hosted its annual competition. Michael Burke lost in the semifinals, though he's still teaching his 11-year-old son, Ethan, for the sport that never became the next big thing. The next generation isn't too far away. It's like other places, it's the, the crack of the bat. Here it's the, the clack of the ball in the court, and it's great. It sounds like summertime to me.